What's going on YouTube? Pistol Pete here. Sorry I haven't made a video in a little while guys. Uh, had in-laws up from out of town so we'll be showing them around and uh, you know doing that thing. So uh, hope everyone had a good Memorial Day weekend. Um, but today I got a good one. I've been waiting on this one. I didn't want to I don't want to do it just a half-assed video. I wanted to, to give this the attention it uh, deserves and uh, requires because uh, this one is badass. You know it's one I've been waiting for for a while and uh it's finally here so as you can tell from the title today i'm going to be going over my custom wyatt hines uh blade that uh it's a little bit of a blended design you know uh obviously wyatt hines i you know he this guy knows what he's doing man he's an awesome knife maker dude this guy um you know it, it's a1 dude i have to say that super super cool dude um let's take through the process the whole way shows you uh from from getting the stock of metal cutting it out to the drawing on the paper i mean everything i'm actually going to show you here uh what he's what he did you know and uh, uh the process went through. Okay, as you saw from the pictures, all the process that it all the way up to even to the heat treat, everything, you know, to the finished product. So let's get to the blade. So I'm gonna go over first uh, with the design. And what, let me just show you this Kydex sheath, man. Freaking awesome before you even get into the design. This thing is awesome. I even like the, the work he did with uh, cordage here. Beautiful, beautiful. And this thing, I mean, it's, no rattle, secure. I mean, awesome, awesome work. I mean, all the way around, just bitching. He even gave a hole for the water, in case to get water in the sheath. Just amazing, super tight uh, connection there. I mean, just pff, awesome. Nothing I can say about the sheath. It's perfectly done Kydex sheath. All right, now let's check out the blade. All right, now as you can see, I went with a fat bellied blade here. And uh, just to show you similarity, so I'll show you what I, what I saw and what I wanted to make me. I saw a design that he did for, I think the Bowie Man. You can go check him out, his channel out. Uh, the Bowie Man, he made him uh, the Heart, heart Stopper, uh, the Wyatt Hines interpretation of the Heart Stopper. And I love the way he did the handle with, uh, with a back skull breaker here or shell breaker, however, what do you want to call it? And I just, I loved how he did the handle and everything else. But the only thing I didn't care for, even on the original heart, not even just, not even talking about wine I'm talking about in general, just the heart stopper design. I didn't like the blade. I freaking, I just don't like that design, you know. I'm not saying it's a bad design, not saying it can't do, you know, all the tasks. I'm just saying, I personally don't like the look of that design. And if I'm going to have him build me a custom design, I want it custom for me, right? So something I want. But I did love the handle. I loved how he, how he contoured the handle here, did the, the step downs here on the, on the handle um you know and then the, of course the back uh shell breaker skull crusher however you want to call it here glass breaker uh, i just loved it i loved that design it was awesome but i because again i didn't like the shape of the blade so i told him i wanted to put two together i wanted this handle here from the heart stopper 
but I wanted something like, uh, I wanted something very similar to the Undertaker buoy, as far as like, you know, cause I do like that. And I like how fat they make that blade and with that clip point, I'm a sucker for a clip point. I love a good clip point on a knife. And uh, let me just show you, I brought out the Undertaker to show you. Yeah, he uh, killed it with that, man. That's awesome. Perfect, perfectly what I wanted on that. So he did get that uh, down as far as the fatness of it. And check out this thickness. Bam, compared to that. And this is, uh, but I just wanted to go over the design first before I step into the specs of this. But all right, so he does have it oiled up here. I didn't clean it off too much because he put a lot of oil, you know, because this is spring steel or uh, leaf spring steel. So um, again, the blade material, leaf spring steel, uh, high carbon. Um, the overall length of the blade is, you're looking at uh, about a little under 15 inches. And the, got a spider on me, hold on real quick. <laughs> little red spider. Okay, and then the, the cutting edge is nine inches. The overall length is about 10 and a half inches from the, from the handles up here to the tip. And the, you got a four inch handle, about a little over a four inch handle length on the handle. And then uh, it's about almost a half inch thick at the thickest point which is awesome. I mean, freaking awesome. Thick blade all the way down here. So, and I had him, I told him to beef up the tip a little more cause I don't, I, you know me, I, if you know my videos, I don't like, I'm not a fan of thin tipped knives. I want to be able to, if I have to pry with it, I mean, I don't want to pry with it or nothing, but just not even just prying, just sometimes you throw these real thin tip uh, knives that get real thin tips, you throw them into logs or, you know, you throw them at all and the tip either breaks off or bends or something. So I was like, no, nah. so he made the tip a little bit, uh, thicker and you can go check out Wine Hines video he had, he did a uh, uh, test on this slamming this into wood and you know and also doing some prying with this you know it held up beautifully beautifully I can't wait to test this myself but you know and if I if you guys if you have if you have a Wine Hines blade you know you know that you're getting quality the, the guy does amazing work you know I mean just when I got this in my hand I mean it feels so good in the hand the ergonomics feel just great I mean man let me get back a little bit I mean it feels so good you know and I have about uh, with gloves, I wear about XL gloves. I don't have really big hands, you know, between large and extra large gloves, depending on the glove make. But so I have decent sized hands, but it's still, I mean, this feels great in the hand. Um, it's just, it's awesome, awesome, you know. A choil feels really comfortable, no sharp edges, nice and smooth, grounded just perfectly. Um, fits great, fits great in the hand for, for close work here, for more fine work. That skull busters look at that i mean it's not razor sharp which is good i don't want that obviously but it is sharp enough i mean if you crack someone in the head with that or if you guys seen the last rambo right to the collarbone man that would, that would bust it for sure the head that'll do damage i mean that'll crack a skull for sure um just beautiful and look at that wood i went i, I uh, he asked me what type of wood he gave me different options you know from g10 to all different types i ended up going with mahogany um you know i don't know if you guys saw that movie uh Anchorman with Ron uh, Ron Burgundy, <laughs> Will uh, Will Ferrell is all all my knives smell of rich mahogany, but <laughs> I just like the way it looked. And then with this stain he put on it, pff, awesome gave it awesome like older, unique design. I mean it's just beautiful, beautiful. And he named it. He he came up with the absolutely perfect name for it, dude. Wyatt was man. He's like, do you mind if I I have a name I think it would suit that best. And I was like, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll throw it at me. Let me see what, what you got. He's all, let's call it the Rhino. So you can see there, the Rhino. And uh, it stands for rip you a new one. <laughs> so freaking bitching. Love it. Love it. And obviously see the serial number 01. So this is the first one. First one. And I believe uh, Donovan 2, if you have to check him out, he's an awesome dude, uh, amazing channel, has the knife collection like you won't believe. Um, he's having one of these made for him because he liked the way this one looks so much. Um, man, it's it's just awesome. On this side, he just put the stamp of, of course, his his, his name there, Wyatt Hines, and then uh, LS for Leaf Spring, still. And, uh, and you know, just amazing, freaking um, absolutely amazing. You know, Wyatt Hines, my man, dude, you freaking you got you got your uh, your your act down, man. You're an artist, man. <laughs> Straight up uh, Smith for sure. You. you uh, you got this you got this down and uh i will i will tell you now though if you order from him 
you got to be patient, you know, because uh, these do take a while to make. This one took quite a few months to, for me to get it. But you know what? I'm a patient man. And, you know, you don't want to rush, rush these things, you know. And, you know, you got to think he's doing this by himself, you know, in his garage with his side work. And he has a lot of other knives he's making, too. So just, it, all I got to say is if you go to him, be patient because you're going to get an awesome blade. It's well, well worth the wait, man. You know, it's well worth the wait. Um, just amazing. You know, and the fit and finish, I mean, it's all smooth. Everything here is smooth. No, no, uh, no, you can't, it almost feels like you can't feel where the metal starts and the wood begins. I mean, it just feels really good in the hand. Um, I just put this lanyard on it, you know, they gave me some extra cordage to, for the lanyard. And, uh, yeah, so let's, uh, let's test this bad boy out and, uh, let's do some, uh, some, uh, cutting and different things with this and we'll, uh, see, uh, see how it holds up i'm pretty sure i'm not gonna have any surprises as far as uh, i should say negative surprises only positive with this thing um and we'll go from there okay let's start with uh cutting just uh, some paper we'll do that first and see how sharp this is Woo! and mind you this blade is over this is over a, a half inch thick stock so and uh yeah, why it has a you put a wicked edge on it, man. Very sharp. And nice and slowly rip. That's how you know it's sharper. You can go slow like that and not have it rip. Man. Super sharp. With ease, with ease. Let's see, is it is the hair popping sharp? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's taking hair off. You guys can see that. Okay, let's cut this water ball in half. This really doesn't test much, but still fun to do. Still like to slice them up. Woo! Let's check that out. Yep. Didn't get that clean of a hit, but man, it cut it. And this thing is freaking razor sharp. Like I said in the previous clip, man, right? Why put an edge on this thing? Look at that. Straight in half. The tip on this is really sharp as well. Butter. Butter straight through it. Just shredding that. Let's move on. At the door now? Let's uh, bang this edge into the door and see how it holds up and uh, see if there's any nicks, rolls, chips, or any funny stuff going on. All right, let's check it out. Man, this is flinging wood. Super comfortable. The handle is so comfortable. I love it. Amazing job, Wyatt. It feels great. I mean, very surprisingly, very minimal vibration. It's the thick stock, but it still feels really comfortable in, in your hand. It just hugs in your hand. Look at the, look at the chunks it's taken out of this here. I mean, that fat belly coming down. Oh, man, like... My opinion, in my opinion, this is the one Rambo wanted to go to war with, man, in Last Blood. <laughs> this one right here with that skull buster and that fat belly. I mean, they still got that acute tip for stabbing in. I mean, this this right here is the ultimate Rambo knife for me, in my opinion. Awesome. Look at that. Just removing wood. Let's check out that edge. absolutely flawless no nicks no rolls no chips still freaking listen to that razor sharp no damage whatsoever all right i'm gonna give you some a point of view chopping here just so you guys can see and see how much how much the material this thing can remove man with just the weight and the, the design of it i mean even that 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 flow at the bottom here when you swing you can see how it teeters you do that okay grip in the hand i mean it just 
easy, less less energy spent, and it move removes the material. Awesome. Look at that, barely using any effort. Bacon out material. Okay, let's do some uh, four foot drops and some hard downward throws and see how the tip holds up. Man, ding, straight as an arrow. Love it. All right, let's do some hard downward throws. Oops, not hard enough. There we go. There we go. Yeah, let's check out that tip. Absolutely flawless. I don't know if you guys can see that. No issues whatsoever. Absolutely flawless. Straight as an arrow. Okay, got some rope here. We're gonna see how it does with a push cut. Ooh, like butter. Let's do a little saw action. Super easy. Let's see. Push cut. Nice. Push cut. That easy. Chop. Man. This thing. Easy. See how it does with a little bit of branch processing here. Let me get my glasses on. I don't want them popping up, hitting me in the face. This is dry hardwood. I mean, this stuff solid. Easy. Let's get something a little thicker. Okay, here's a nice thick piece. Let's see if we get through this thing. This one's pretty fat around there, so and it's solid too. Let me get some, some on the cement. I want to make sure I'm not going to lift this out of my hand and damage the knife. through that easy look at that Almost through it. Boom. All right, since I have it here, let's uh, do some shaving here. Ooh, that's nice. That makes feather sticking pretty easy. has a nice edge. All right, guys, let's do a little bit of batoning. I don't have much wood for batoning right now, so I apologize for that. Can't show many demonstrations with this. I just have these little skinny logs, which is, you know, not worth the time. This thing will eat right through it for sure. And then other than those, I just have super huge, big fat logs. So uh, not gonna be, uh, uh, you know, much, much entertainment there, so. I do have this one though, it's pretty fat around. And we'll uh, baton this one through and see how it goes. Stick. Easy. 
easy. That fat, I think you guys can see that, that fat blade, that half inch thick, makes it easy for splitting the logs. I'm talking right in half. Man, that makes batoning easy. That thick stock. Easy peasy. Okay, that uh, concludes my review on uh, the Wyatt Hines Rhino custom knife he made me. Freaking love it. Absolutely love it. I was going to, uh, one thing I had left to do, I wanted to do was to uh, break a bottle with, uh, with a crusher here, but I do have, as you can see right there in the back, a little pup running around and this guy's in everything. He's up my butt, everything I do, this guy's next to me. So I just want to be breaking glass and having getting it stuck in his paws and having to do all that thing with the vet. So I was like, yeah, I won't break glass. And then, I mean, I hit, was hitting wood with it, but I don't want to miss and mess up the, the, this wood handle here, which is so freaking beautiful. Um, you know, last thing I want to do is break the scales on by accident just by hitting it against wood. You know, I mean, this will, as you can see, that will do damage. <laughs> that will do damage if you get hit with that, you know. Um, so I figured I was like, you know what? Uh, the Bowie man, you can check his channel. He broke a, he broke a glass jar with it. That's what I was planning on doing with it. Um, but obviously I don't, like I said, I don't want to do that with the pup running around in the backyard here. Um, also I wanted to do, which I don't have, I can't find on me, but it feels like it's, 90 degree spine here. I mean, you can see it's pretty flat. Let's check with the ferro rod, but I can't for the life of me find what I do with my ferro rod striker. So, uh, you're just gonna have to uh, guess on that one. I think I'm almost positive it will. If not, I'm almost positive you could strike it on this. It's pretty damn sharp here. I mean, you could, I'm almost positive you could strike it there with this. So, um, yeah, I, I have no doubt that that will, that will strike a ferro rod for sure. But yeah, so, bad ass bad freaking ass i love this knife this this came out awesome white you did a fantastic job brother um i definitely will be ordering more in the future the edge as you can see held up flawless no rolls no chips no folds no nothing no waving absolutely i mean <laughs> razor sharp like a damn razor blade as you can hear um tip Absolutely no folding, I mean, no uh, bending, no dulling. I mean, sharp as ever, needle point still. Um, thick tip though, so I, don't, I didn't see that damaging. Super thick, th thick stock, so I didn't see that getting damaged at all. Um, the choil felt super comfortable when I was doing that shaving there, making those feather sticks. Um, man, nothing else I could say, nothing I could say bad about it. Everything's only positive, man. This thing is sick. Feels super good in the hand. Um, that weight coming down in the front is a great chopper. It's good size. The Kydex is absolutely perfect. It fits in there like a damn glove. Locks in tight. I mean, this thing is just badass all the way around. All the way around, I could highly, highly recommend <laughs> a wide Heinz blade, man. Um, just awesome. Just freaking awesome. Um, again, you did an amazing job, brother. I mean, you left me uh, speeches at the end here, man. It's freaking awesome. I just, nothing I can say bad about it. Of course, it did get some scrapes, right, from sticking into the log and to, for batoning and all that stuff. But it's going to, any usable, any usable knife is going to get scrapes on it. You know, you could always get some sandpaper, buff them out, or, you know, get some polish, try to buff them out. But, you know, that's what knives are meant for, being used, right? So I, I have a few in my collection I don't use, but for the most part, I use it. This is, this is going to be one of my grail knives. This is going to go in my hutch just because it's a custom from Wyatt. And the future ones I have from him are going to be in the same thing. They're going to go in the, in the, for display in the cabinets I have. Um, just because it's awesome, dude. Awesome dude. Why it's a good guy and custom blade. This is, you know, kind of like a Frankenstein for me for, from Wyatt to uh, put the, this type of a handle from the Star Heart Stopper with uh, same kind of a blade fatness and, and look from the, undertaker buoy from condor so i mean those two together with that thickness um his heat treat is on point no issues just amazing amazing all right youtube uh i'm almost at i'm really close guys to that uh 500 marker 
for uh, sub subscribers. So I'm like at 493, I believe now. So seven more away, dude. After that, uh, I'll be giving, doing the giveaway from that uh, Black Mule buoy, the Rough Rider Black Mule buoy, which is another bitchin' uh, budget buoy. So I'm um, really close, guys. Uh, like I said, go to that video, Rough Rider Black Mule buoy below. If you haven't, if you haven't sub, sub, hit sub, and then to put in 500 in the, the below in the uh, comments and soon someone will be getting that badass blade all right please like subscribe and until next knife gun or whatever